Hey YouTube, how's it going? In this video, we're going to be looking at level two feeds. Everything that I wish I would have known when I first started looking at these things. So let's just go ahead and get started. Off to the right, I've got just a screenshot of a level two feed. I'm going to start with the static image. That way you don't have numbers changing all the time. It'll be a lot easier to explain. So after I explain it, we'll look at the actual live level two feed, which is shown right here. This is, you can see all the numbers and colors changing. It's all very fun and overwhelming at sometimes, but uh, let's just go ahead and dissect this thing. So right here, this is a level two feed for the stock or the company called Dries. D-R-Y-S is their ticker symbol. So you can see essentially on the left hand side of the level two feed, you've got just a list of all of the different bid prices people are willing to buy the stock for. So you can see at the very top in this green uh, fill, there's a bidder that was willing to pay $2.99 for up to 2,000 shares. And on the other side, you've got the, uh, the, the sellers. What all are they willing to sell their stocks for? So you can see uh, that right now the best seller is at $3 a share, and they're willing to sell up to a size of 1,700 shares at that price. And I really like how E-Trade Pro will kind of bracket everything or tier everything out into different colors. So you have a really good feel for how many different buyers and sellers there are at different prices. You can see uh, right here this yellow section. You've got two buyers at $2.97. But over here to the right, you actually have four sellers at $3.02. Now these sellers, they aren't actually just individual people. They're what's called, they're called market makers. That's what MMID stands for. And a market maker, all you really need to understand is that they're the people that are actually out there coordinating the transactions. So that's really all you need to know about them. Uh, but again, on this bid list, you've got all of the different prices people are willing to pay, all of the different sizes of shares that they want to buy. And on the ask side, you've got all the different prices people are willing to sell at. The highest price, uh, the, 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 the price that's on the top here, this 3.0, that's actually the lowest price someone's willing to pay. This $2.99 over here on the bid side, that's the highest price someone is willing to buy their shares at. And I really like this little uh, graph at the top because it kind of gives you a feel for the market depth on a, you know, another level, I guess you could say. So look at this on the bids. You see this yellow bar. It's much taller than all the other bars on the bid. And that's because you have a lot of strength in this yellow price tier. You can see the uh, $2.97. You have two bidders at $2.97. But you can look at the size. You have 11,000 and 5,000. That's 16,000 shares that could be bought. So you have a lot of bid support at this level. So it's just a nice way to be able to visualize your data. Now over here, these numbers off to the right, you may be wondering what's all this $3, you know, red and green stuff, what's that? That's the time and sales information. Basically, it's just a list of all the transactions that are occurring at different prices. It shows the, let's see, it says last in size. So this is the last price, you know, the, the last price at the very top, that's the last transaction that occurred. And here's the number of shares that were transacted for that transaction. So uh, you may be wondering, what do the red and green mean? So anytime you have a, uh, a green transaction in this time and sales window, it basically means that somebody hit the ask. So I'm going to show you a little bit easier way to understand what I mean. But essentially what that is, is whenever, let's say that you're thinking right now, hmm, I want to buy the stock. There's kind of two things you can do. You can either join the bid at $299. $299 is the best, the highest which is the best bid price at 299. You can either try to buy it at 299 or you can go ahead and just pay whatever the lowest asker is willing to sell their shares at. So if you go ahead and join, or sorry, if you go ahead and hit the ask, it's going to show up as a green uh, font because you were willing to pay a higher price than whatever the best bid was at the time. It's kind of considered an uptick whenever you move your price up to meet a higher asking price and eTrade Pro is pretty simple it just shows red and green colors there's other programs that will show like let's say instead of just buying it at three dollars you wanted to you know you really wanted to buy it and you said you know what screw it I'm gonna pay three dollars and ten cents so you pay three dollars and ten cents that's a lot higher than the best asking price so in that situation it might show as a bright green on the flip side you know the red color anytime you've maybe got your shares there's kind of two choices you have. You can either sell and join the ask. So maybe you want to sell your shares. You can put it in at $3 a share and you'd be right there on the top with everybody else. But you'd be waiting, you know, for a bidder to come up to you. A transaction only occurs whenever a buyer and seller reach a mutually agreed upon price. So 
Right now, the best bid is $2.99. If you put your sell order for $3, you're not guaranteed to get a fill. So if you really are motivated to sell, you could go ahead and say, you know what, $2.99 bidder, I want to sell to you. And that would be called a down tick, and it would be coded as a red color because you brought your price down. Now, some platforms, if you went really low and say, you know what, I really want to liquidate my position. I'm getting the heck out of here. I don't want to sell at $3. I don't even want to sell at $2.99. I want to sell at $2.95. I'm ready to, I'm ready to get out of it. You could do that, and it would actually show up as a pink print. So just different colors sometimes to look out for. So if you're still confused at this point in time, I'm going to draw something that really kind of, in my mind, this is how I think about it. So let me just draw this. Just another way to kind of think about level two. It's really just a, uh, really just a big graph. So think of it like this. So you've got these two arrows. You've got a down arrow and you have an up arrow. Let me just, sorry, my drawing's not that great. I want it to be straight. There we go. Okay, so what is the best bid right now? Right now the best bid is $2.99. We're gonna put that right there. And the best ask, this is what somebody's willing to sell at, is 3.00. 3 now the distance between these two points, this is actually what we call the spread. This is called the spread. So right now we've got a one cent spread, one penny. That's a very tight spread. But visualize, you know, whenever you're thinking about it, think, you know, imagine this sort of scenario. And also on these arrows, I like to draw these little lines because each line represents a higher price. Because you got to remember this right here. That is the best asking price. It's the lowest price someone's willing to sell at. But obviously above that level, there are multiple, you know, there's a lot of other people that are wanting to sell at higher prices. Same thing is true on the bid side. You know, you've got this bid right here. Somebody says, hey, I'll pay up to $2.99. But beneath that, you know, you've got all these other bidders that are kind of in line below the best bid price that are wanting to sell. That's what all these guys are down here. Like this $2.98, $2.97, that's all these little green lines there. So just kind of a, a more visual, uh, a more graphical way to kind of think of things. So this could be you, you know, you're just a little stick figure standing here, you know, and you could be thinking, you know, hmm, what do I want to do? Well, if you're going to buy, if you want to buy the stock, you kind of have two different choices. Like I said, you can either go ahead and say, you know what, I want to buy it at $2.99. And you can do that. You'll be added right here to this uh, level two feed. At 299, your little position size would either be added to the 2000 or come through on a different market maker. And you may or may not get filled. If the stock price is, uh, you know, moving really, really fast, you know, higher and higher, you have to basically wait for a seller to come down to you. So sometimes you don't want to do that depending on how motivated you are to buy the stock. If you're really, really motivated, you can go ahead and just hit the ask and it'll come in as a green print because you were motivated to buy the stock. Or again, if the stock is moving up just rapidly, you may not even want to hit the ask at $3. You may want to go somewhere way up here and say, you know what, screw it. I'm going to pay, you know, I don't know, like 3.05 or something. And that would come in as a bright green print because you were just so excited to, you know, you really wanted to buy the stock. And the same thing is true, like I said, on the sell side. You can either, you can either join the, the best asking price at $3 and hope that a bidder comes up to buy that price. Or you can say, you know what, I'm really motivated to sell. I'll just go ahead and sell for $2.99. Or if you're really, really motivated, you could jump down to like, you know, $240 or $250 or something. And that would come in as a pink print, which basically shows panic. You know, you're just dying to get rid of your, you, you, just, you know, you really want to liquidate your position. So just kind of a nice way to think about it. Anytime, you know, somebody comes from down here and moves up there, it's a green print. Anytime somebody comes from down up there and moves down, that's considered a red print. So it's just a way to visualize buying and selling pressure. So another thing to mention, I'm not sure I might've already said this, but uh, one thing you can identify from these level two feeds, let's just go ahead and look at the live one. Let me minimize this. So here's the live one. You can see this stock's pretty volatile. Uh, it just moves. There's just so many different trades that are occurring. One thing that you can identify from the level two feed is what's called support and resistance levels. Anytime you have a lot of bidders stacking up like you do here, look at all these 298s. That's really good bid support. That's whenever you see these bids coming up, it's called the bids are stacking. That's what people will say. These bids are stacking. It usually means the price is headed higher. If you see 
uh, on the other side, a lot of asks, you know, the highest ask prices is really stacking up like all these 299s. That usually means that the, uh, sometimes they call that a wall of sellers. You've just got all these sellers at this price. It's essentially supply and demand economics 101. If you're not familiar with economics, I've got a great video explaining the basics of supply and demand. But anytime, all you really need to know is that anytime somebody wants to uh, sell, think of it like this. It's going to push the price down. If somebody wants to buy, it's going to help push the price up. So if you're selling, you're going to try to push the price down. If you're buying, it'll push the price up. So if you look in the level two feed, maybe you scroll down a little bit. Maybe you're trying to figure out, okay, what's the lowest price that this stock could actually fall to today? Just based on level two. You can see here at $2.86, you have an 11,000 size bidder at 2.86. So if I'm trying to pick out, you know, where could a potential support level be? You know, if the price, if I think the price could fall down somewhere, I think that if it were to bounce off of any of these prices, that it would probably, you know, hit this 286 mark and then it would continue going higher because you've got a lot of bid support right here. And then on the flip side, you know, what's the highest price I think it could maybe go to today? And this is, you know, this is simply just a, uh, just a quick look. It's not always perfect, but it's just a nice way to be able to sometimes come up with an estimate. You see at 3.05, you have 17,000, a 17,000 seller size. So if the stock price were to go up to 305, it's going to have a hard time breaking through that resistance level because there's so many askers at that price. So hopefully that helps you to understand the basics of level two. Um, another, another thing I like to do is on my level two feed, I like to have obviously the symbol name. This is the Dries company. Uh, the bid tick, this is nice too. Anytime you have a red arrow, it, it doesn't necessarily mean that there was a red trade right here or a green trade. It basically means that the current best bid, like right now, 298, that's the best bid. Well, it's on a down tick, the down arrow. So that actually means that this best bid right here is lower than the previous best bid, you know, before. So maybe before it was 299 and now it's 298. So if this best bid actually drops to 297, it'll keep on showing the down. Like right now, see it has 297. It's still a down arrow. If this ever reverses and goes to 298, it'll flip the arrow the other way and show, you know, the bid is on an uptick. So it just shows you the direction that the bid is trending. Right now it's going down. You know, the bid, the best bid price is just going lower and lower. So it's just a nice way to understand where the market is moving. And then another thing that's really important about buying and selling is understanding the volume and the number of trades. You know, right here, this tra this uh, stock has been basically, there's 44.6 million shares that have been traded today. That's really nice to know, you know, you've got a lot of shares that have moved, but, you know, how many trades have actually occurred? You know, is that just one big trade for 44 million shares or were there a bunch of different traders? So I have the number of trades, basically, the, the, it's basically counting all these different transactions that are hitting this time and sales list. So uh, it just gives you a feel of what's called liquidity. If you're looking to buy a large number or sell a large number of shares, how easy can you buy and sell? You know, it's really important to consider this spread in here, you know, how far apart are the best buy and the best sell prices? Because if you, you know, maybe you buy your stock and then you turn around and say, you know what, I'm ready to sell. Sometimes if the spread is really, really far apart, you'll have a hard time selling because there's no buyers anywhere near the current best selling price and you may have to jump down to them so you may have to you know sell it at a unfortunately lower price so that happens sometimes so just be keeping in mind what the the spread is and the liquidity of the stock looking at the volume how many trades have occurred and then looking at the direction that the stock is moving and understanding this level two feed so hopefully that helps you guys if you like the video please comment like and subscribe for more content we'll see you in the next one thanks